please raise your right hand. Do you affirm the testimony you're about to give before the committee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, God. Thank you. Let the record reflect that all three nominees have answered in the affirmative. And Ms. Hill, you'll be the first to proceed with five minutes, and each will have that opportunity. Ms. Hill. You have to press the button on the council. There. Thank you for that tip. Now you're in business. Thank you, Chairman Durbin and Ranking Member Graham. I appreciate the opportunity to appear before the committee today. I am also honored and humbled by the support of my state senators, Senator Langford, and my fellow Cherokee, Senator Mark Wayne Mullen. And I appreciate Senator Langford's introduction here today. I want to express my appreciation to President Biden for the honor of a nomination to serve as a district judge in the Northern District of Oklahoma. I would like to briefly introduce my parents who are watching me today from Tahlequah, Oklahoma. My father, Roy Hill, is a combat veteran who served with the 101st Airborne Division and retired after a long career in public service working for the state of Oklahoma. My mother, a first-generation college graduate, also retired from a career in public service. I am so very proud to be their daughter. I must also express gratitude for my son Landon, a college sophomore at, the, at Northeastern State University, who is today in Tahlequah keeping an eye on his grandparents, who are hopefully also keeping an eye on him. I would like to introduce some dear friends and family who have come with me in person today, including my sister, Jennifer Daniels, the Deputy Principal Chief of the Cherokee Nation, Brian Warner, the Attorney General of the Cherokee Nation, Chad Harsha, there are many other family, friends, and colleagues, both online and here today, who are supporting me, and I am grateful for all of them. Last, but certainly not least, I want to introduce my husband, Jerry Starkey, who stands with me today as he has stood with me for over 25 years. All of his family have made themselves my family, and I'm also incredibly grateful for my in-laws, Carol, uh, Butch Daniels, Stephen, and Tina. In closing, I'd like to also take a moment to honor the continuing career of Judge Claire Egan, who assumed senior status in the Northern District of Oklahoma in 2022. She was the first woman to become a district judge in that district, and it is an honor to be nominated to succeed her. I want to thank her for illuminating a path into the federal judiciary for women in the Northern District. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hill. Mr. Russell. <clears throat> 